My name is Christine McTiernan. As head of the family which holds the highest protection under the Constitution, which under the Article 41.1.1 reads as follows, the state recognises the family as a natural, primary and fundamental group of society, which as a moral institution possessing, in, possessing in inalienable yeah. and imprescriptible rights, ascending and superior to all positive rights. I find it absolutely necessary for me to open my business, both for our benefit and for the common good. I accept and acknowledge the Constitution recognises all my rights, including the right to earn a living providing for my family. I need to earn a living to pay for my bills in order to provide our mental and physical health and well-being. Through my business, I have gladly served the community of Balbriga for six years. I have a huge amount of positive messages and well wishes within the community and the country as a whole, and I am thankful for their support. I operate my business to the highest health and safety standards set out by the HSC. I will continue to do everything possible to protect my customers and staff. I want to put the guard, all guardy on notice that the right I am exercising, they have sworn to uphold. Finally, my common law rights to provide for my family cannot be overturned by positive law enacted by legislation. I would like to take the opportunity to thank everybody for their support today. Can I just clarify, what will you say to the guardy even when they arrive? So? Um, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. I will stand by what I have written here. I will stand by 100% what I've written here. This is to support my family. You know, that I need to pay my bills. I have to pay my bills. And is that just what it comes down to? Can That's what it survival? comes down to. It's for survival. I do this for survival and for nothing else. And what, if other salon owners disapprove, what would you say to them? Are you going to take a stand on their behalf? I'd take a stand on my behalf. Yeah. This is for me. I, I have to do what I have to do to pay my bills. And that's what's important to me. I have to put food on the table. I have to pay my rent. And all my bills have to be paid. You know, the, 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 this is what's happening. doesn't stop my bills from going. So I have to pay them. So I, yes, it's purely for time, and I'm doing this. And, and you were critical to me about the government's support. What, what further support would you like to see from the government for small businesses like yourself? Basically for them to support them. They, they, they you know, they're not doing it and this is the reason why I'm doing this because I have to survive I have to nobody else is going to put food on my table I have to do it so that's why I'm doing this I'm opening my business to pay my bills excellent all right okay that's what I'm going to say I have clients coming yeah. and I need to sort out the business for that today okay thanks a million fair play to you well folks there we have Christine uh, a small woman in stature but a, a very Did big woman brave small? woman and uh, it's the likes of her that will, um, you know, bring the country back to where it needs to be to get back to work. Uh, this woman was at the end of her tether to try and make ends meet. And uh, she just decided she has to open her business. You heard her saying it there in her statement and questioned that she has to open her business. She has to make men's e ends meet. She has to pay her bills. She has to feed her family. And also she referenced mental health and physical health I know from talking to people around the country that that's a huge issue uh, with the mental health. We've seen it from some other videos that went viral as well. And mental health has hit people that it never hit before. And uh, so people for their own sanity, if you like, and to pay bills have to get back to work. And that's it, that's it folks. And uh, it took a, a very small woman in stature, as I say, here in Balbriggan to hopefully snowball uh, and, and give people a bit of bravery to show if that little woman can do this, then I can do it and I can open my business. I have the rights, exercise your rights, because if you don't exercise them, they're like a muscle, they'll go. So um, exercise your rights safely and uh, definitely do it within all the guidelines. Uh, that's good and proper, but you have to feed your family, you have to pay your bills and you have to go to work. Uh, so that's it folks, that's uh, any further update here live in Balbriggan, we'll come back. But for the moment now, that's it over here live in Balbriggan. The beauty shop here, uh, CNN Beauty Shop, is now open for business. And remember, uh, she's doing this safely, it's by appointment only. 
they're the only business actually that do appointments. I mean, I can go to the bank across the road, I can go to Super Value up the road, and I can walk in there with a load of other people. Here you can't do that. There's only two chairs to get uh, your treatment done. They're at least 15 feet apart. Everybody wears masks, there's hand gel inside. There's no reason why this business can't be open in any event, but this lady is at the end of her tether, has opened now, and it's good to go. Over now from Balbriggan.